month, this month is called Wicked Marigold by Caroline Car Carlson. That's a good one. Okay, here we go. A princess of Imbervale, Marigold came into the world as most ordinary children do, squinting and squalling. This time the king and queen of Imbervale had taken precautions. Every sneak and scoundrel had been swept out of the kingdom. The royal magician had woven a web of protective spells around the palace grounds. And at the moment Marigold was born, six royal guards were appointed to watch over the little princess day and night. So you only got a little snippet. Here's our book of the month with the Allegheny County Library Association. It's a chapter book, so we couldn't read the whole thing to you. But it's about Marigold, who discovers that she might be wicked since her sister is so perfect. There's a lot to this story, but it's fun and clever, and your mid-level readers will love this one, which is perfect because today we are all about gifting, and chances are you picked up a book or two. Yeah, but if you still need some help when it comes to finding the perfect book, we got you. Adrian Reister from Spark Books is here to help. You brought a lot of books you did. and other did. items with so you. So many books. It's like asking me to bring my favorite child. I can't do it, guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You even had to put some stuff back. You're like, I don't know how to narrow down this list. Yes. But we have a good selection for different age levels and interests. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start down here and tell us what you brought. I brought a selection of picture books that I'm just absolutely loving. Um, I had a high school uh, English teacher, Mrs. Davis, who always told me, show, don't tell. Um, um, and so these all do that. So there's stories, there's a moral to it, but um, you learn about it through the story. Through so the this pictures. one is don't lie, you might end up with mud cake. This one over here, try new things, even if you need to bring your uh, bathrobe with you. It's okay to be grumpy, but it's okay to not be grumpy too. Um, and back here is uh, Ursula upside down, and as you read it, you turn it around. So oh, Ursula fun. sees up and down, oh, and it's okay fun. to see the view, as, uh, view the world as, as you do, so. All right, so you have this sort of divided up in sections. So the next section belongs to like, you have this dragon Dragons outfit down here. Magic, yes. <laughs> yes. Dragons at every single age. So okay. um, here we have Night Owl. It's the second one in the series. Love this one. So sweet about a little owl that is um, a night night. Night play on words. Uh, a night, night, night. night. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Night. yes. <laughs> um, this little dragon here works in a bakery. Um, everybody else goes to get gold, but he gets golden bread. And then down here we have this one for middle grade. Uh, this I love because it's sci-fi and dragons. So uh, a great mix there. And is this yeah. an experimental potion kit? Yes. And you can drink it, you said. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, well, so good. you um, make, make sodas and flavored things and fizzy things. Um, and all the kids right now are into magic and fizz and all the things you can eat and, and make. Uh, what I love about your shop, too, is that you really lean in. If there's something your kid is really into, you can get the books and get something that's going to pair along yeah. with those interests. Yeah, exactly. And so moving down here, we have some of, uh, some of the books for your older readers. Readers. Our older readers, yeah, some things that I wanted to highlight, Taylor Swift, if yeah. you guys don't have this book, you need it at home. Learn everything about her. This is the deluxe edition. Um, over here, Who is Taylor Swift? It's the Secret Library. I love this one, a great fantasy. The newest diary of Wimpy Kid is out. Um, the Night War, love this one for anybody who loves historical fiction. And then um, several here uh, of graphic novels. And the, the slime is still... Slime huge, is huge. huge, so I did bring some of that. Yes. Is that what um, this is? Yeah. Yes, and all the mix-ins and all the things. So we sell a lot of books, but we also sell a lot of slime. So much slime. <laughs> slime <laughs> are everywhere. Yes, yes exactly, yes. exactly. Right. Um, and then last, down here right. are um, some beautiful Christmas books um, and celebrating the season. And what you have your hand on there yeah, is, what is, uh, is a clay luminary. So you can make that as a family. So um, you can put a tea light in it and it will light up and um, what sort a cute of, idea. yeah, yeah, and it's called clay date because there's enough for you to do it with the family. So that's oh, awesome, how wonderful, really great stuff. And I, I know that we saw the costumes earlier to go with our magic and dragon theme. But again, so many wonderful little things that you can add on to your gift. Yeah, absolutely, really fun. Yeah, easy to find lots of gifts here, and and this whole magic hat thing. Yes. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of kids who are into magic right now, and Mr. 
mystical fortune tellers. These are so cool. When you grab onto the pencil, you can ask it a question, and uh, like a magic eight ball will tell you what's up. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. So cool. This is awesome. Thank you so much. And our thanks also to the Allegheny County Library Association for sponsoring this segment.